Hello and welcome to the Truth Daily Devo, where we strengthen and encourage believers through a consistent and faithful engagement with Scripture. I'm Damian Dunlap, the lead pastor at Truth Fellowship Community Church in Panama City Beach, and I want to thank you for joining us today. Proverbs talks a lot about relationships. We know that relationships are good. Not only are they good, but relationships are critical to our spiritual growth, development, and accountability. Today's passage warns us that as valuable as relationships are, they all have limits. We're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter 25, verses 14 through 19 in the New Living Translation. And it reads, a person who promises a gift but doesn't give it is like clouds and wind that bring no rain. Patience can persuade a prince and soft speech can break bones. Do you like honey? Don't eat too much of it or it will make you sick. Don't visit your neighbors too often or you will wear out your welcome. Telling lies about others is as harmful as hitting them with an ax, wounding them with a sword or shooting them with a sharp arrow. Putting confidence in an unreliable person in times of trouble is like chewing with a broken tooth or walking on a lame foot. All right, this is going to sound a little off topic, but flow with me for a minute. All right, here we go. Prayerfully, you've never encountered this, and hopefully it's no longer a thing. But when I was in college and deciding to get serious about my faith, there was a thing about Christians ghosting their friends. Someone would go to church or a revival, have an amazing and often genuine spiritual encounter and ultimately decide that their life is going to need some changes in order to follow through and live according to God's will. Many times, the most significant changes were regarding the people around us and people would just cut off, often without even a courtesy of a conversation, a text message or anything. It was an all or nothing mentality. And I remember this idea, this approach being taught in the church. Either you were helping me move closer to God or you weren't. Either you were in my life or you were ghosted. Thinking back on that time, I realized how harsh, insensitive, and even judgmental we came across and how those choices to ghost people were contrary not only to God's character, but also to scripture. Today's passage doesn't talk specifically about this issue, but the pattern I see is relationships with untruthful, unreliable, and dare I say, ungodly people. When I look at this passage, I don't see them cut off. But what I do see is a warning regarding how they should impact our lives. If a person is known to be unreliable, we are asking for trouble to put confidence in them. As Proverbs says, it's like chewing on a broken tooth or walking on an injured foot. It might hold us for a bit, but inevitably we'll experience the pain of disappointment. I believe that what God is teaching here is that instead of cutting these people off, we should limit their power over us and ensure that we are influencing them to live according to God's will and not the other way around. Or else, how could we win them to Christ without holding some space for them in our lives? Okay, so one last thing to balance things out here. I do still believe that all relationships have a limit. Proverbs also talks about having no dealings with some types of people. So there may be a time when some relationships need to be cut off completely, but it should never be a surprise to anyone involved. So my encouragement to you today is to establish some boundaries and stick to them. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this day that you have made. Help us to be glad and rejoice in the fullness of all you've done and continue to do for us, in us, and through us. Thank you, Lord, for the people that you've placed in our lives. Help us to honor you as we live out these relationships and help us to be a light wherever we are. Help that light to shine into the dark places of our world. Lord, bring healing and restoration to hearts and relationships and help us to walk in humility and grace. Lord, we love you. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us as we look forward to continuing this journey through scripture each weekday. Have an awesome day and God bless.